is Archangel 9008. I'm giving you guys an update on my BioCube 29HQI. Um, I added the new Reefkeeper light to my system. I mounted it right here on the cabinet. I got uh, from Marine Depot, I think it was 179 bucks plus shipping. Came with the free pH probe. Got it right here. Got the pH uh, probe and the temperature probe. I set up the Reef Keeper light to uh, automatically turn on this fan that I have up here once it get, gets above uh, 79 degrees and I have to, keep it, to help keep the tank cool. Um, show you how I have it mounted in here. Alright, let me just get my light. Alright, I mounted the PC4 to the wall of the stand. That was a project in itself, trying to get it up there. Um, then I ran the wire down here to the bottom underneath the stand, underneath the shelf, to the SL1, where I have the I temp hooked up and the pH probe right there. And then I sneaked the wire out through the a hole in the back, and the rest of the wires come up here through the middle over here. I got uh, my, I think it's JBJ Ocean Pulse Duo Wave Maker, which I have set to every 90 seconds to switch between uh, two Kralia's, Kralia Nanos, I think 425 gallons per hour. Over here I got my irregular um, day-night timer hooked up to my Lunar lights, my HPI lights, and uh, the Hydor Seltz aquarium pump. Let's take a look at the top. Um, I just added the drip plate that a friend sent me to the second chamber back here. Right here is the drip plate that I added from a regular BioCube 29 to help, you know, get better use out of the filters in the bottom. So I think it helps a lot, a lot better than how it comes stock. So that was a little tour of the BioCube, how it's doing, how it's progressing, uh, more videos to come, if you have any questions or comments, uh, hit me up in the comment section below, Archangel is out.